The rivers and dams around Swansea are full. The latest storm bringing several inches of rain in a short period of time. It's just been a lot of a lot of rain. Normally we're bone dry by this time of year. Some roads and basements around town flooded. Overnight, Swansea and Keene's fire departments teamed up to rescue three men and a dog from a home on Causeway Road. They're starting to be con get concerned that they won't be able to get out if they need to. So there's probably four or five feet of water that surrounded that 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 residents. Specially trained crews used a nearby canoe to get everyone out safely. One of our dive team members, she was in her uh, dive suit, uh, was able to wade in, so it was up to her, probably up to her shoulders. Get to the um, dwelling, make sure that everybody was okay, relatively uh, good condition, and we just needed to move them out into a safe area. Further down Causeway Road. Water was just barely up into that, that storage unit over there, that bike shed there. And, but like I said, within half an hour, all, the bikes were almost underwater and I had to get them out of there. Water surrounds Peter Stevens' home. He took down his front door to get his new motorcycle off the ground level. I sacrificed my front door to get the bikes up out of the water because we couldn't, it was such a current going across here yesterday, there was no way we couldn't get a truck in there, couldn't get a trailer in there. Friends helped him move his valuables and his two cats. And for that, he's grateful. I'm a lucky man. I, I got a lot of friends. And Swansea's fire chief tells me crews are out assessing the damage and they're working to shore up the sides of the roads like this one here. In Swansea, Jessica Moran, WMUR News 9.